Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and uh, this tutorial I'll explain you how you can work with the screw joint which is coming out of the DMA Kinematics Design Workbench in KTA V5. So I'll open up a DMA Kinematics Workbench and I'll start off doing my first part. So here I'm going to make a simple design for the sake of explanation. insert my next part now thickness 12 and I'll create a hole now position sketch do the dimensioning for this just make sure it lies in the center and give a dimension of 12 so you have your uh, two parts being created in front of us now and uh, now I'll double click on the product and you're getting back to the DMU kinematics design workbench and here insert you should click on the new mechanism whenever you're starting off with uh, any mechanism click on the new mechanism and you have uh, a branch being created mechanisms and now you're going to specify which is going to act as your fixed part and uh, again new joint here you have the screw joint click on the screw joint and specify the two axes which you want to work with and uh, you have two options one is angle driven and one is length driven so basically in the cylindrical uh, joint you have angle as well as the length so it was uh, like you you can give the angle uh, the start angle and the end angle and the length here you will be specifying the length and you will be specifying a pitch so you can for the time being you can give a pitch of 2 and uh, check on the length driven and click ok now you have the window coming up which says that the mechanism can be simulated that means the mechanism is ready to go so double click on this or uh, just click over here and uh, move your slider back and uh, keep it somewhere over here note the value which comes that is minus 32 and uh, move it right somewhere over here and minus 44 now minus 32 and minus 44 go to the joint screw minus 32 and minus 44 so these are the upper limit and the lower limit so if you specify more than this the nut will come out of this uh, particular uh, assembly which is not possible so click OK minus OK so it should be minus 44 and minus 32 because the upper limit is always uh, bigger than the lower limit now uh, double click on the speed and acceleration move it and move it on the anterior position move it on the posterior position now you can do the simulation so this is how you can do a simple simulation of uh, you know an assembly using uh, KTRV5 in the DMU Kinematics Design Workbench. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Any doubts, any clarifications you have, you are free to comment on my video and you're free to subscribe me, free to like my videos and uh, uh, you are free to uh, you know do conversations with me. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.